Alright, Spirit told me to make this video. <clears throat> I've been praying on this a long time and I was laying down resting. And the Spirit put the verse in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the answer, like many times, has been right there. The name Jesus Christ will be front and center again. And one thing I do when I have conversations with people using the words from the Spirit, I always do in all of these videos. Every word I say comes from the Spirit. And what I noticed when I was having conversations with people, I'm always thinking, what do you need to hear? Maybe not necessarily what do I want to say, but what does God want me to say that you need to hear? And I realized that can lead to people feeling convicted all the time. And part of my thought process is I don't want people to feel convicted all the time, which is one of the reasons I've kind of shied away from things. <clears throat> but we were discussing music, and people feel authentic. And that's one thing that I really liked about my music was it's always been authentic, it's been real. So I'm going to be doing that. And another thing, I do wrap myself in light. And I always go through scriptures. I have my social media set up to be subscribed and following people that are in the spirit. So I'll get memes and posts and things like that. They all have scripture. And one that I came across that resonated with me because it always resonates with me. You mention the name Jesus and watch someone's response. And that's how you know. And one thing I love about my church is mission accomplished. I did get my lost sheep to my church. And he likes it and he's scoping it out. <laughs> and he was remarking in our section that I sit in, it's kind of like where the crazy people are because we're I came across the scripture uh, last week I have not even begun to act undignified <laughs> that's why and it's about David and he's having a fight with Macau and Macau was basically like put your shirt back on and David is fighting with her. Like, why is she such a hater? I'm celebrating before my Lord. I have not even begun to act undignified. I will become even more undignified than this. And when I read the scripture, I see it from a whole different perspective. I see what was really happening. And it's just amazing and I can see where this is going already and I'm gonna do it <laughs> so it's like it's just part of who I am so be excited and the problem that I'm having is the people that are in the spirit I am king of the Jesus freaks <laughs> proudly I am the proud king of the Jesus freaks and I understand, I walk around with my crown on and people look at me a certain way, but they see the name Jesus. Everywhere I go, I'm always ministering. And I thought about it, the rejection from the world is nothing when I see a car drive by and it's got Jesus freak across the window and I'm like, yeah. 
So I'll give up the love of the world for my Jesus freaks. It is imperative <laughs> that I put this music out and it is imperative that the world hear it. And I will take this rejection from my church as worship leader and turn it into something beautiful. Because it wasn't from my church, it was from a different church. But <clears throat> our whole culture, as followers of Jesus, needs to change. And we do need to be able to, to be convicted. And the purpose of the church was always, what are you having a problem with? What is keeping you from feeling closer to me? What do we need to address? So you have the knowledge of good and evil, simply guilt. That tree produced guilt. The cross removed guilt. That's one of the huge purposes of both trees. And I understand that people regurgitate what they think or what they hear. Truth supersedes superstition. Truth supersedes man-made ideas. Truth is truth. For me, you will get truth. So... <clears throat> when you are coming to the cross meaning you're asking for forgiveness and you're repenting your guilt is removed when you remain the purpose of guilt when you remain not caring your heart is hardened your spirit has died you won't feel guilt. That's an indication that you are far, far, far from God. The guilt lets you know you're going the wrong way. And you need to repent, realign, and get back on your path to greatness. Because we're doing this together. Alright, I love you.